my fellow compatriots, ladies and gentlemen, as we register the year 2014 as one of great accomplishments, I would like to take this moment in wishing you and your families a prosperous new year 2015. And may every house be filled with joy and harmony. We honor our parents, a life and transition that our achievements and ability to recover from setbacks are a fitting tribute to the values they instilled in us. The pioneering spirit of never giving up or caving to fear and innuendo. Today marks exactly one year since we became owners of our own building at 1020 Bandana Boulevard in St. Paul. We acquired this building through an intentional and an inclusive community engagement effort as the driving force. 1020 Bandana, in all its majesty, is the outcome of our shared vision, reflecting diverse voices, recognizing different characters, and having all of us contributing to our identity, which now is encapsulated in this edifice. As a matter of fact, 1020 is a concrete demonstration of our creativity and innovation, a veritable proof of what we can do together, even when we have differences. Our collective effort continues to find expression in a cherished legacy of success. As we celebrate our achievements, we must recognize that there is much work ahead, and that as we strive to make strides, sometimes we would make mistakes genuine mistakes because of our commitment to succeed. Whenever these shortcomings arise, let us try to be tolerant with one another because it is from these shortcomings that we can grow. Nelson Mandela, one of the finest leaders in modern times, once said, I'm not a saint unless you think of a saint as a sinner who keeps on trying. Fellow Cameroonians, when things go wrong, as they sometimes will, and the road we are trudging seems all uphill, when funds are low and the depths are high, when things are pressing us down, we must not quit. We should rather rely on our ingenuity to steer us to our God-given destiny. Triumph over adversity is the greatest reward and triumph we shall. I believe we can reaffirm our collective responsibility to confront the problems that we face. For Minnesota Cameroonians, the choice is clear. We choose hope over despair. We reject failure and cynicism, especially in matters of common interest. We choose to serve the community as our children deserve it to be. I pray all of us meet our collective responsibility in sustaining our providentially acquired 1020 Bandana Boulevard. We are here because of the benefit of working together in cooperation and in conquest. We carry in our hearts a boundless optimism and will to succeed. I hereby acknowledge and appreciate all those who generously gave in the past. We encourage all of us to sign up, donate, come in great numbers during grassroots fundraising events to support these collective efforts. The proceeds will help pay our bills as bridge funding as we continue to work on our long-term solutions in making 1020 Bandana operations a self-sustainable endeavor. We take our finances very seriously and have promised complete transparency. To that end, therefore, much effort has gone into establishing a sound financial structure which meets the conventional standards of generally accepted accounting principles. Moving forward, we will commit our strategies for action on sustaining our community center through this bridge funding until such a time when it can self-sustain itself. The leadership team has carefully crafted some short-term and long-term strategies to enable us meet our financial goals. These include Friends of Mincom 
with sustainable monthly contributions, members' monthly donations of $20, grassroots fundraising events. We will continue to work with commercial brokerage firms in seeking potential outfits to lease part of our building. And we will continue to actively seek a secure line of credit from financial institutions. Details will be communicated in subsequent releases. My fellow Cameroonians, this administration is striving to improve our communication strategies in order to be able to effectively touch the hard to reach populations. As always, we welcome any suggestions or ideas that would help us make an overall process even better. There is the need for great social cohesion through tolerance and understanding between various tribes and regional groups. It is hard to fathom the fact that in this day and age, we still dwell within the scope of socially constructed brackets, which can either unite or divide us. Like the changing seasons, we ought to grow accustomed to our differences and promote harmony in our communities. We need to promote dialogue and understanding among people of different belief systems, we must continue to foster the ideal of inclusiveness. To not fear difference, but to embrace it. This community has always drawn strength from the rich cultures and traditions of people from different backgrounds. It is at the heart of who we are as a people. I envision a future no longer restricted by geopolitical boundaries or arbitrary distinctions of tribe or regions, as this has never been a measure of our values as individuals. We need to redefine acceptance. Each time we gather as Cameroonians, it creates a unique opportunity to experience our rich and diverse culture and provides a lifetime opportunity as well for our children to gain exposure to the culture of our motherland. It is the aspiration and the optimism of the next generation of Cameroonians that inspire us and give us hope. Dear friends, it is on this note, therefore, that I'm glad to announce that we will be having a grand inaugural celebration marking the first anniversary of the total acquisition of our community center. Please mark your calendars for Saturday, March 14, 2015. Each day brings new challenges and the promise of new rewards. These rewards are not always tangible. They can be as simple as the sun shining on our flag as it is floating in the wind at sunrise. So let us look ahead to the future, for that future is ours. Thank you all for the privilege of serving you as your president. And as always, I pledge to continue to serve you as best as I can. I am not Minkam, we all are. And together, we will not sit back and watch our destiny written for us. Let us write a new chapter in our history, one that is interwoven in the fabric of our own very community and our own heritage. Let us look forward with hope, hope that the spirit of unity will transcend every tribal boundary. Hope for a peaceful coexistence amongst us, regardless of the sound of our last name. From the savannas of northern Cameroon to the dense equatorial forest of the south, from the grass fields of the west and the northwest regions to the jungles of the east, from the coast of the littoral to the rolling hills of Mount Fako, we will unite as one people to embrace the future and transform this community into one of our dreams. May God bless Cameroon, one people, one destiny. Long live the Minnesota Cameroon community.